Yo, what is up, my Shadow Army? So it is I, Shadow Cordias, back again with another Spawn Bleach versus matchup video. So yesterday, I'll give you guys another versus matchup video and the finale and my final versus matchup series on this channel. So after this, no more versus matchup content. And mainly because I don't do much of these anymore. So why not go out with a bang of a matchup that comes to my mind that I always wonder who actually would win in a fight between these two characters. Al Simmons, aka Spawn, versus Ichigo Kurosaki. Hell Spawn versus a substitute Soul Reaper. So before we continue on, this is just my personal opinion about who I believe actually would win. If you believe one of these characters actually will win in the fight, let me know in the comment section down below. And the reason why I want to do this matchup because both of them are overly powerful in their own rights. And a lot of people that are commented and voted and the voting poll, y'all guys are low-balling Inchigo so fucking hard for no goddamn reason and y'all don't even think clearly. Like, it really does piss me off. Like, if I see any votes or any say in the comment section down below by saying, I knew he, I knew Spawn was gonna win. Yeah, I knew Spawn was gonna win this and that. I will remove that fucking comment if y'all keep on. Cause that shit gets in my nerve cause y'all dumbass don't even think straight. So, yeah. And I had a discussion with a friend of mine, uh, Roadkill, when I told him about this. And he said it was a tough one to think on who actually would win between them two. And when I told him about how y'all motherfuckers just lowballing Inchigo so hard, yeah, he even, he, even he said y'all all stupid as fuck. That y'all rush in to uh, jump into the conclusion like that. So, yeah, that's a little bit of rant that I want to get out of my chest. But I might bring it up again when I get to um, the verdict. Or my final thoughts on who I believe actually would win. But yeah, for the the character, the version of the characters, I will be using Spawn from the movie, comics, and the video game version of Spawn. And for Ichigo, I will be using him from the show, manga, video game, and the movie, which is the Hellverse. So yeah, those are the versions I will be using for this matchup. So basically, all of them into one, and I gather up all the research that I get gather the best I could, and yeah, it's not perfect, but at least I got some of them that I could. So I don't know how long this video will be. Depends on um what I gather so far, but yeah, again, when I get to the verdict to get my final thoughts, this is just my personal opinion about who I believe actually would win. So, yeah, without the way, let us begin. Al Simmons, aka Spawn, gender male, age 40. Race human and Hell Spawn height 6 feet 2 inches is Al Simmons, and 6 feet 11 inches is Spawn weight 234 pounds is Al Simmons. During his lifetime, he was a skilled assassin shown to be one of the most formidable assassins until it all changed when his morality got the better of him. His boss murdered him during the mission in Botswana for the OSSG's Operation Night Strike. Because he died and was an assassin, he was sent to hell and met a demon known as Malabolgia, in which Simmons made the deal with him. If he agreed, he becomes the captain of Hell's army and he will revive to see his ex-wife Wanda Blaine. Al Simmons agreed and was reborn as the Hellspawn until he found out that Malabolgia tricked him with a fake horse to death. Returning to the world, he has little memory and a badly disfigured body which surprisingly gave him limited yet powerful magic. From now, he swore revenge. Ichigo Kurosaki gender male age 27. Race of human, Shinigami, Quincy, and hollow height 174 centimeters 5 feet 8 and a half. Formerly 181 centimeters, 5 feet 11 and a quarter. Weight 61 kilograms, 134 pounds. Formerly 66 kilograms, 145 pounds. Ichigo was the son of Ishin and Masaki Kurosaki. 
Shin used to be a soul reaper, one of the spirits that helped souls get to the afterlife and slay evil spirits known as Hollows, and was captain of Squad 10 and the Gote 13 and the head of the Shiba clan. Shin went to investigate a disturbance in the world of the living, and encountered a powerful hollow named White. Shin was heavily injured by the monster, but Masaki, a Quincy, came to rescue him. However, White managed to infect Masaki with a poison that would turn her into a hollow. Shin felt guilty for Masaki's condition, so he used a special Giga, an artificial body used by Soul Reapers to walk around in the human world, that would suppress his Soul Reaper powers and Masaki's holofication. When Ichigo was born, he had the ability to see ghosts and spirits due to his parentage. He spent most of his life helping out the ghosts he'd seen, protecting them from people who dishonor or harm their graves. One night, Ichigo's life changed forever. He watched a soul reaper named Rukia Kuchiki enter his house while tracking a hollow. Rukia, surprised that Ichigo could see her, explained what exactly she was and what she was doing. Ichigo didn't believe her at first, but that changed when the hollow came into his house and attacked his family. With Rukia unable to defeat the hollow, she made Ichigo an offer. Take her powers and become a soul reaper, or watch his family die. Of course, Ichigo picked the former option, becoming a soul reaper and slaying the monster. After that, Ichigo would use his new powers to slay hollows that popped up around town, before officially being recognized by the Soul Society as a substitute soul reaper, helping them defeat many villains during his time with them. Feats. Strength easily punches through concrete and steel with his punches and kicks. Clashed physically with the violator. Can ragdoll and throw normal men with ease. Punched a hole in a demon's chest. Is much more stronger than average fodler demons, that can casually rugs off nuclear blasts. Broken a holy sword which is stabbed through his shoulder like nothing. Crashes one of the disciple archangels through a forest. Ripped apart a nuclear-proof android. Lifted up and tossed a building at the horizon. Casually lifted up and lunge a large steel beam. Knocked out and punched the 8th king of hell and the main general's hell armies for Armageddon. Torn down a good chunk of steels and concrete with just his fists. Lifted up horizon's foot and prevented Hinslep from being stopped, who can tower skyscrapers. Got away from tearing Violator's arm. Managed to held something powerful and heavy as the star's heart. Along with Angela, fought through hell without any weapons from hell. Managed to catch a blow strong enough to drive his feet into earth. Traded blows and punches beforehand and slammed Sai Gore with enough force to leave a crater larger than him. Slapped away Mammon, one of the second most powerful demons in the universe which rivals Satan and is claimed to be stronger than Malabogi. Speed. Avoided point-blank gunfire flies over a mile so fast that it looks like a blur. Broke the sound barrier during combat. Managed to scale an entire skyscraper in the span of a single sentence. Moves so fast that it causes the very air to set on fire from fiction. Dodged point-blank shots from anti-spawn. Blitzed all of the 12 disciples. Jumped and leapt around overkill's attack, despite having huge guns and ammo at his back. Dodged blast from point-blank range from Redeemer. Saved Cyan's life from overkills before he can see what happening. His reaction speed is estimated to be X110 Sol. Durability. Managed to survive attacks that can destroy stars. Managed to held something as hot and heavy as the sun in his hand without any visible trace of damage. Survived an atmospheric re-entry. Withstood an electrical blast from Angela. Walked off a 30,000 fall from the sky. Survived 600,000 volts of electricity. No soul walking through a pool of lava and hellfire. Survived punches from overkill who can effortlessly rip a futuristic tank with ease. Was still able to move freely without any trouble without his heart. Was unfazed having a gap hole through his chest when he was inexperienced. No soul to stab through his chest survived a building fall on him. Stood up after getting shot with an anti-tank around. Withstood punches from Savage Dragon, who can bench press multiple skyscrapers. 
survived an explosion which can be seen at 13 miles. Survived a missile shot at him from a helicopter. Barely even budged from a car hit reaching at 67 miles per hour. Took severe beatings from Malibulji. Survived getting crashed through Eden by the disciple. Skill. Became a godlike being at that point. Became captain of Hell's army. Considered to be one of the most powerful hellspawns in his universe. Survived an encounter from Angela, a highly skilled hellspawn hunter. Along with Angela, defeated the Dark Lord Horizon. While being God, recreated Earth without Hell on it. Fought evenly with Savage Dragon. Escaped Heaven when he first met his suit. Fought thugs, demons, angels, hellspawns, and gods in his entire life. Can control nature weaknesses. If he taxes his necroplasm too much, he will be sent to hell again. Will be killed by decapitation. Dead zones render his abilities. His power will be drained if he's in the green world dimension. He'll be grievously injured if he's torn apart. Feats. Strength. In his human form, smashed a man's head into concrete hard enough to break it. Kicked Asgiero from his bedroom into the street without injuring his legs from his hierro. Knocked out three Shinigami lieutenants with a single strike each. Can split a wall in half with a single strike. Cut through Renji's swords. Broke Rukia's execution cross. Casually blocked two large axes and broke them. Was able to stop Bayakuya's sword with his bare hands with his hollow mask. Broke through Bayakuya's Shukei Hakutaiki, his strongest attack. Pushed away Aizen with just one hand. Broke a gravity barrier that warps time and space. Ichigo can slam down Aizen to the ground that causes a massive impact to the ground. Can cut through Kenpachi's skin and able to fatally wound him. Blocked Yami's punches and chopped his right arm off. Pushed Wukiora Cypher so hard it forced the ground around him to crack. Badly injured Grimjow with his hollow mask. Cut through Grimjow's Deskaren which is his strongest technique, and promptly defeated him. Stopped Aizen's sword, which tore up the ground miles behind him, with one hand. The force of Ichigo's swings are able to destroy mountains, as shown in his fight against Aizen, but it was not Ichigo's sword swings that destroyed the mountains, and rather the shockwaves. In his Vasto Lord form, he cracked the ground behind him by swinging his sword in the air. Cleaved a plateau in half. One swing of his sword produced a shockwave that overwhelmed Genjo. Sliced through a building with Getsuga Tenshao. Can destroy large swords with just a thrust. Threw four stern ritter into buildings with little effort. Caused shockwaves by clashing with Yuwach. Restrained Yuwach's sword arm with one hand in his merged hollow form. Strong enough that when he threw a Quincy into a building, it got completely destroyed. Destroyed an extremely large tower using Getsuga Tenshao. Speed. Reacted to and dodged a surprise point-blank headshot. Dodged a spear thrust and exchanged multiple blows in a second. Can dodge Kenpachi's attacks. Ran behind Yakuya Kuchiki before he could react. Ichigo is too fast for Bayakuya's Bankai, Senban Sakura Kajyoshi to keep up. With his Bankai, could create multiple afterimages just by moving. Deflected all of Senban Sakura Kajyoshi's blades, even after they were surrounding him from all sides. Deflected multiple Heilig fails, a Quincy era. In Bakai form, was able to easily avoid Bayakuya's Bankai and bring his blade to Bayakuya's throat fast enough for him to even start reacting. Was able to tag Yakuya before Ichigo's Getsuga could hit him from the opposing side. Caught Renji's sword. Moved far away from Yami's fist when it was only a few meters in front of him. Can outrun explosion. Reacted to Grimjow speeding at him and caught his hand. Able to dodge Alkiora's repeated thrust. Defeats Dordoni in one hit in the span of one second after putting his mask on. Dodged Jin's Bangkok, which attacks at speeds 500 times faster than sound, and got right up to him. In his Basto Lord form, got behind Ulkiora and sliced his limbs off before he could react. Dodges a hypersonic blast by tilting his head. Brought himself and Aizen to a faraway field in seconds. 
reacted to lightning launched by Sternritter T. Caught a Sternritter's arrow out of the air. Caught Ginja. Durability. Ichigo could tank a blast powerful enough to destroy a mountain. Shrugged off being smashed into a wall by Renji's Shikai. Managed to get up from an attack that formed a crater on the ground. Was able to stand up and continue fighting after being stabbed through the chest. Stopped Grimjow's Sero with no visible injuries. Tanked projectiles that collapsed massive stone pillars. Took a point blank Sero with his hollow mask. Gets thrown through multiple stone pillars and is able to stand his ground afterward. In his Basto Lord form, healed a hole in his chest. Takes a direct hit from an attack that cut the ground several meters away and was not phased nor any minor injuries are shown. Managed to break and deflect multiple projectiles from Aizen while trapped. Stopped a massive Sero with his bare hands. Survived a stab to a neck. Got stabbed by Kenpachi and still survived. Tanked Grand Ray Sero from both Grimjow and Ulkiora. Grabbed and held Ulkiora's city level lands a Del Relampago and then crushed it. Tanked this attack from Aizen the explosion of which was so big that it could be seen in Karakura town, which Ichigo and Aizen were several miles away from. Tanked Hado 90, Kurohitsugi, from Aizen. This caused him no injury, and is impressive considering a weaker version of this spell previously wounded a captain, Sajin Komamura, and at full power it is stated that the gravity that is generated inside it is so strong, it can distort space and time. Tank multiple Hylic Veils Holy Arrows which leveled a block. Tanked an electric attack that was 5 gigajoules worth of energy, which is equivalent to about 1.2 tons of TNT and yet survived it without a scratch. Got dragged through several buildings by Sternritter P and he isn't even phased by it. Skill. Defeated countless Shinigami and Hollows. Was able to escape from Rukia's binding spell without any Shinigami powers. Mastered many complicated and advanced Shinigami powers in just a few short days. Defeated Aizen, who stomped many Gotei 13. Along with a Ryu, managed to fight Yuach in a draw. Defeated Maino's Grande in 20% Renji. Has been trained by former captains Kazuki Urahara and Yorichi Shiho. Matched Yakuya in pure skill. His skill was recognized by Jin, who believed he was capable enough to defeat Aizen. Broke out of Quilty's the jail ability. Defeated Yuwatch but did not kill him. Defeated several strong Quincy during the Hundred War Blood arc. Helped end the 100 years blood war between the Quincy and the Shinigami. Stopped Aizen's plan from happening. He mastered Bankai which would take a normal Shinigami 10 years to master. Defeated several Arankar including rank 6 Grimjow and rank 4 Ukiora. The second member of the HST to get a big titty waifu. Weaknesses. If he loses his badge, he loses his full ring powers. If he uses final Getsuga Tensha, he loses his Shinigami powers. Prefers melee than ranged combat. His spirit energy drains quickly if overused. His uncontrollable energy makes stealth useless. Reckless. Zanjetsu can be broken. Merciful on his opponents. Powers and Abilities Superhuman Strength, Speed and Durability The combination of his necroplamsically charged body coupled with the K7 Lita gives Spawn an indeterminate amount of physical ability. He is able to punch through concrete and steel with ease, and lifting extremely heavy objects such as buildings. Due to his incredible durability, Spawn is capable of withstanding immense punishment without injury. He is able to fly at high speeds well in excess of 100 miles per hour. Regeneration. Spawn is able to heal even the most fatal wound in an instant. He is able to heal after getting incinerated by anti-spawn and has healed from continuous stab by himself with a huge piece of metal and managed to survive via healing. He is able to heal after getting torn apart. Spawn has regenerated entire holes in his chest, broken arms, missing hearts, and blown out kneecaps instantly with the use of his necroplasm. Healing. Spawn can heal anyone's injuries and their wounds like the time when he is able to restore a child's entire chest cavity and heal fatal gunshot wound on Twitch. 
Though if he focuses hard on the healing power, he is capable bringing back a person's life. Energy manipulation. Spawn's common range attack as well as his preferred one. He shoots green blast made out of necroplasm which can vary the size of the blast. He can use the blast as movement as well. He can destroy the entire floor across the city and able to absorb all types of energy even the entire energy supply of hell as well as able to kill vampires. If strong enough, it can melt the gates of heaven. Fire manipulation. Spawn is able to manipulate, create, and breathe hellfire. This hellfire is strong enough to incinerate Violator and combust the human brain. He can blow the entire horde of men with his fire powers. Hallucinesis. Spawns move where he can use illusions and hallucinates the opponent. It can trick them and can only use them if he feels outmatched. He can create figures of himself and show a demonic vision of his own hell and once trick an opponent into killing themselves. Teleportation. Like most characters, he can teleport which is most overused move. He can move FTL when teleporting G and could go inside the opponent to perform an insta-kill. One time he teleported his heart back to his body. Intangibility. He can become invisible and can phase through objects in the environment when coming into contact. Somehow he can phase his fist inside the enemy's body. Time manipulation. If the battle or a situation goes out of hand, he can freeze time to regain his thoughts and tactics. The range of the time stop move expands the entire world and can make someone young again when he focus it hard enough. Telepathy. He can tamper and read people's mind and once sent a kid to his personal hell by using his telepathy. It can cure people's insanity and can put a man into permanent agony. He once asked the entire earth for permission for some random reason. Empathy. He can sense the emotions and sins of others in which he is able to absorb the suns and negativity of people in the entire New York. He can feel the emotions of people in the whole planet and can make a person's sin consume them. He can transfer the sin and branding it on vampires. Spiritual force manipulation. With the suit, he is able to control souls in many different ways and lead that can feed the souls of the dead. He has 6,000 souls inside him and has the ability to remove the soul of the person. He is able to recover blasts that can destroy souls and can summon the souls as hell spots. He is able to permanently scare off Bamut by making him wear a mask. Trace scrying. He is able to look into a spider and a corpse's past and can foresee the crime scene happening. Shapeshifting. His suit can mold and transform into various things ranging from turning into a kernel of bats and shapeshift into different persons. He can lengthen his claws into the shape of spears like appendages. Materialization. He can change the size of objects like he can make small objects the size of cars by yet again focusing hard enough. He can make spikes and swords for offense. Transmutation. Spawn can transform, alter transmute matter, energy, element, objects and beings like humans, aliens, demons, hell spawns, and celestial mythical beings. He can shoot out a colony of bats and can transform his body into a mass of photon for light speed travel. Precognition. He can foresee the future to see all sorts of danger and can sense the presence of energy that is equal or higher than his from beings. It automatically shields him from incoming explosions. Telekinesis. He can levitate and redirect attacks with his mind. He is able to redirect a hail of point-blank bullets and levitate it and hold a bullet in place with his mind casually. Reality warping and dimension manipulation can readjust the environment around him with his liking and can readjust the planes of dimension and can create black holes to hell. His cape can create his own personal dimension which can send people to his own personal hell. His reality warping abilities allow him to create beer out of thin air, skin a human alive, and can make a person's blood and flesh into lethal poison. Power bestowal. If needed, Spawn can give out a fraction of his power to beings. He can steal powers from demons and other hell spawns. Zupathy. Spawn can communicate and order animals around him. He can shoot a stream of colony of bats from his wounded chest and can ride a wave of worms. Also can call upon a demonic animal called Black Disparal which is a group of powerful demon animals that is capable of overpowering and obliterating a hellspawn hunter. Ecokinesis. He has complete control of Mother Earth meaning that he can control nature around the world. 
He can cause massive earthquakes and a big tidal wave and can raise an entire forest. He created a fissure so large it trapped a 100 plus meter sized horizon. These are done without the use of necroplasm. Life Force Absorption He can steal the life force to heal his injuries when he was fatally injured. He can absorb an alleyway of animals and drain the life out of a nightcrawler. Powers and Abilities Master Swordsman When it comes to combat, Ichigo relies mainly on swordplay to do damage. He was trained by Urahara, a former captain of the Soul Society, but aside from that he has had no real formal sword training, essentially choosing to learn as he went. Despite this unorthodox style of fighting, he is still an extremely skilled swordsman capable of easily fighting against sword masters such as Yukuya Kuchiki and Kenpachi Zaraki despite both of them being much more skilled and having much more experience in sword combat. He can fight with both hands too, though uses Zanjetsu in his left hand. He is capable of using a variety of sword styles including a great sword for his Shikai, a katana for his Bankai, dual blades for his true Shikai and he is proficient in all of them. Spiritual Awareness Even when he was a child, Ichigo was able to see spirits. After becoming a Shinigami, this ability was improved significantly. He can detect and sense beings with higher spiritual power more easily such as the time he fought Kenpachi and sensed Chad who was not near him. Expert Hand-to-Hand -hand Combatant Ichigo has trained in martial arts ever since he was four. His fighting style consists of him using powerful punches and kicks, as well as having great agility and coordination. He can take down multiple bullies and gangsters on a daily basis with little to no effort, and was able to easily knock out three lieutenants while barehanded. He is said to better martial artist than Tatsuki, who is said to be the second strongest female in all of Japan, even with a broken arm. After getting his Shinigami powers, he is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kenpachi and Yukuya. Superhuman strength, speed, and durability. Even before becoming a Shinigami, Ichigo is very strong, fast, and tough for his age. He can smash a man's head with enough force to break through concrete with a single kick, dodge point-blank shots to the head, and take attacks from hollows much larger than him. Keen intellect. Though he may have a tough guy personality and a punkish attitude, Ichigo has the top grades in school. Ichigo is analytic, perceptive, and deductive. His strategy involves analyzing his opponent's fighting style and attack pattern to perform a counterattack. Immense spiritual energy. Ichigo's spiritual power is higher than most other Shinigami in the series. His spiritual power is so strong that it surprised Renji. Just half of his spiritual energy is comparable to Captain Level Shinigami in strength. Ichigo's spirit energy along is strong enough to hold off Sokyoku, a halberd that is said to possess power equivalent to 1 million Zanbakudo combined. By controlling his spirit energy, Ichigo can harden it to boost his attack strength and defenses, channel it into other objects through Zanjetsu, or form platforms under his feet to fly. Yetsuga Tensho, a technique Ichigo could use with Zanjetsu. By swinging his sword, Ichigo can fire a wave of energy strong enough to slice off the top part of a mansion and disperse a rainstorm. By striking the ground with a Getsuga Tensho charge, Ichigo can use it to release omnidirectional explosions from his sword. With his true Shika, Ichigo can fire full power Getsuga Tenshos just by pointing with his smaller sword, and he can fire stronger black Getsuga Tenshos by swinging the bigger sword. Getsuga Jujisho by using both blades of his true Shikai, Ichigo can fire a cross-shaped Getsuga Tensho with enough power to disperse Candace Catnip's thunderbolt and destroy her arm. Fulgrim. Ichigo's Fulgrim, which lets him manipulate the soul inside an object. By using his substitute Shinigami badge, Ichigo can produce a Suba of energy that blocks attacks and can fire energy blasts. Blood Bene. A Quincy defensive technique, which has Ichigo infuse spirit energy into his bloodstream to increase his durability. Blood Artery, a Quincy offensive technique, that allows Ichigo to can increase their strength, allowing them to take on Shinigami and Hollows with ease. Shunpo Flash Step, a Shinigami technique that allows high-speed movement. With it, Ichigo can move several meters with a single leap, and knock out three lieutenants and grab his sword before any of them hit the ground. Alternative Forms 
King of Hell. What makes Hell King spawn the Hell King version is the moment he arrives into the 8th level of Hell, Tat stays the power, and accepts the crown as a Hell King. Nigh Omnipotence. In the 8th sphere of Hell, the King of Hell is described as Omnipotent, but Balbalaga was. Telepathy. As before spawn has telepathy, but it should be much higher than its normal level. Mind Control. The Yuzanar could control the minds of other begins. Psychokinesis. Shape Size. Virtually Limitals Necroplasm. Hellspawn Army. Divine Spawn Angel Form. Spawn's other powers are, Phasing, Psychic Link, Superhuman Senses, Telekinesis, Cosmic Awareness, and Transformation. Following the Armageddon storyline, Spawn's power level has decreased, deriving most of the power he has left from his symbiotic suit. Equipment. K7 Letha, a symbiotic suit composed of necroplasm which can feed off necroplasm and evil sins. He can project and shapeshift weapons and shields and gives him ESP senses. He can sense the suffering and sins of people and gives the abilities listed above. It gives him nigh unbreakable chains that can reach possibly more than 100 feet with relative ease as well as able to turn into razor blades and can also act on their own. His suit also allows him to extend his bracelet spikes for a surprise attack. Cape. Spawn possess a cape, which can transport anything into his own personal hell as well as being strong enough to slam the redeemer. Alternate forms. Shikai Ichigo. Despite essentially being Ichigo's base Shinigami form, this form is strong enough to block an attack from the Sokyoku, said to have power equal to 1 million Zanpakuto. Bankai Ichigo. Normally it takes 10 years to reach this form, but Ichigo did it in just 2 days. When using Bankai, one's power can grow anywhere from 5 to 10 times greater. And according to the official data book, while in Bankai, Ichigo moves like lightning. Visored Hollow Mask Ichigo By tapping into the powers of Zanjetsu, his inner hollow, Ichigo can don his signature mask to greatly boost his strength, speed, durability, and spiritual power. In this state, Ichigo can easily overwhelm Grimjow, moving faster than he can track. His durability is also enhanced, letting him tank Grimjow's barrage of dark bullets, which were strong enough to destroy buildings. Ichigo's fighting style becomes more instinctive and ruthless in this form. Power Augmentation While wearing the hollow mask, his hollow powers supplement his Shinigami powers, increasing his power and speed. Augmented Getsuga Tensho In this state, Ichigo's Getsuga Tensho is considered his ultimate technique. It is strong enough to send Yami flying and cut a high-rise building in half with one shot. Enhanced Spiritual Power Despite already having a large amount of spiritual energy, Ichigo's hollow mask increases his spiritual power. It is so powerful that Gordoni Alessandro del Socaccio witnessed it and stated that it was amazing, as well as Ukiora stating that his Reiatsu was stronger than his. With his mask on, Ichigo's spirit energy resembles that of a hollow. Ichigo can launch himself into the air by combining the spirit energy released from his Bankai activation and hollow mask. Enhanced strength, speed, and durability. Also with his mask on, his superhuman stats are immensely increased. He can effortlessly block Ulfuro's Sero shot, outrun his own Getsuga Tensho, and shielded himself from a barrage of dark bullets from Grimjow, which could destroy buildings. Mask Regeneration. Ichigo possesses the ability to regenerate small amounts of damage to his mask if he has enough spiritual power left inside him. Increases mask duration. After subjugating his inner hollow, Ichigo can retain his personality while wearing the mask for much longer than normal. He can fight entire battles with the mask on without any problem, though he could originally only hold it for 4 seconds at a time. Mask Resummon. If his mask is destroyed, Ichigo can summon a new one. Vasto Lord Ichigo. When Zanjetsu takes full control over Ichigo's body, it will transform him into a hollow. In this state, Ichigo's spirit energy is greatly increased, and he has rapid regeneration, letting him instantly heal wounds and missing limbs in a blink of an eye. Sara, a technique only usable by hollows, which fires a powerful blast of concentrated spiritual energy from between Ichigo's horns. 
Ichigo's Sero is strong enough to overpower Ulkiora's strongest Sero and cause large-scale destruction to the surrounding area. Chain. If his Zanbakudo falls out of his hand, Ichigo instantly calls it back to his hand. Sonido. The hollow version of Shunpo, which has pretty much had the same use. With it, Ichigo can move even faster than Ulkiora, moving behind him and throwing his severed arm at him too fast for him to react. High speed regeneration, Ichigo can instantly heal missing limbs and wounds. Gongai Ichigo. After some quality training with his father, Ichigo got a somewhat second Bankai, which most people call Dongai. Final Getsu got Tensho Ichigo. Ichigo's ultimate technique with his Dongai. With it, Ichigo transforms into the Getsuga itself, greatly increasing his spiritual power and letting him use an attack called the Getsu. While the attack is extremely powerful, after he uses it, the transformation dissipates and Ichigo will lose consciousness, followed by the loss of his Shinigami powers. Ugetsu, Ichigo's strongest technique. This move has Ichigo generate Black Reiatsu on his hand and swing it towards his opponent, unleashing an extremely powerful wave of black spiritual energy that deals massive damage to whatever it hits. This technique was strong enough to severely damage Aizen's final form and force him to regenerate at a previous stage. Complete Fulbring Ichigo Ichigo's completed Fulbring, which covers him in an armored bodysuit that increases his strength, speed, and durability. In this state, Ichigo can use Bringer Light, a Fulbringer technique that pulls on the sole of the ground to propel him across long distances, and a blade forms from his Shinigami badge to use as a weapon. Energy Blasts, Ichigo can fire black, spinning propeller-like energy blasts, which can be charged up to increase their power. Though the blasts are rather inconsistent in terms of power, charging them up increases their strength, and Ichigo can fire a barrage of them with one swing of his sword. Getsuga Tensho, Ichigo can fire Getsuga Tenshos from his sword in this form. Despite being not as strong and powerful as his Soul Reaper version, it makes up for it with its speed and can still cause considerate damage. Enhanced Speed and Strength When using his complete full ring, Ichigo's strength and speed greatly increase. He can block punches from Chan and send strong opponents flying with one kick, and he's fast enough to create afterimages. Merged Hollow Form Ichigo after getting his broken Zanbakudo reforged, Ichigo learned that his inner hollow was actually the spirit of Zanjetsu. By making peace with Zanjetsu, Ichigo is no longer in danger of being possessed by him. However, Ichigo can still meld with his inner hollow to transform into an extremely powerful form. Unlike his Master Lord form, Ichigo's body only undergoes a partial transformation, and Ichigo still has full control over himself in this state. Enhanced Strength Ichigo's strength in this form is enough to restrain Yuwacha's sword arm with one hand. Enhanced Speed After transforming into this form, Ichigo moved from one side of a barrier to the other faster than anyone else could track. Enhanced Spiritual Power Just releasing his Reiatsu in this state was enough to destroy the top part of a tower. Sarah By using Zanjutsu's larger sword as a replacement horn, Ichigo can fire Saros in this state. Grand Ray Sero. By cutting his hand and mixing blood in with his Sero, Ichigo can fire the Grand Ray Sero, which has enough power to destroy a fortress with one shot. Ichigo can even mix his Grand Ray Sero with a Getsuga Tensho for an even stronger attack capable of wounding a Soul King of Power to watch. Quincy. All my powers. Ichigo fires an incredibly powerful arrow that causes immense damage and inflicts weakening. Soul Trait Max. Strong attack recharge time plus 14%. Attack style range SM, melee. Stamina 1065 attack 642 defense 358 focus 344 spiritual pressure 794. Skills. Sprinter. Plus 2. Increased number of flash steps bruiser, plus 20%. Increased normal attack damage devastation, plus 40%. Increased special move damage frenzy, plus 1. Increased strong attack hits debilitator, plus 5 sec. Increased duration of inflicted status ailments, freeze duration minus 100%. Freeze effect duration reduced by percentage. 
Increased Soul Trait, plus 2%. Arena Abilities Max. Soul Trait Strong Attack Damage plus 13% Spiritual Pressure plus 90. Skills All Stats plus 40% Damage to Weakened Enemies plus 20% Strong Attack Damage plus 30%. Skull Clan. Kushinada can pull its Reiatsu into those it deems worthy, dissolving into a yellow light, which immerses the person in question. This gives them a form clad in a skull-like armor, as was the case with Ichigo Kurosaki. This form allows the user to achieve feats that would be deemed impossible in hell, such as severing chains of people bound to hell or binding enemies in chains and then sending them to a lower level of hell to atone for their sins. The users and their allies are considered friendly to the Kushinata while the armor is active. Equipment Zanjetsu, Ichigo's Zen Bakudo, a sword made from Ichigo's soul. Due to his high spirit energy, Zanjetsu is always in a state of release. When it first appeared, Zanjetsu resembled a kyber knife with cloth wrapped around the hilt, though its design has changed. Fulbring Shikai Zanjetsu after being mixed with the remains of Ichigo's Fulbring, making it stronger and more powerful. True Shikai Ichigo's True Shikai, which is a pair of black swords. While one resembles Zanjutsu's original form, the other is much smaller. Bankai Tensa Zanjutsu Zanjutsu's Bankai, an upgraded form with more powers and abilities. Ichigo can activate the form by shouting Bankai, and when it's activated, it causes a massive explosion of spiritual energy. Tensa Zanjutsu resembles a longsword, with a thin blade. However, its smaller size condenses Ichigo's power, letting him fight at much higher speeds and keep his Bankai active for much longer. He can also fire Black Getsuga Tenshos with much more power, store Getsuga Tenshos in the blade for stronger slashes, and fire Getsuga Tenshos from the sword's tip like a bullet. Fulbring Bankai Tensa Zanjetsu after being mixed with the remains of Ichigo's Fulbring, making it stronger and more powerful. True Bankai Ichigo's True Bankai, which resembles a large white kyber knife with a chain attached from the hilt to the blade. In this state, a Getsuga Tensho is strong enough to slice you watch in half. If the blade crumbles, the original form of Zanjetsu will be revealed underneath, allowing Ichigo to continue fighting. Substitute Shinigami Badge, a badge given to Ichigo by the Soul Society when he became a substitute Soul Reaper. It is invisible to humans and allows Ichigo to separate his soul from his body, transforming into his Shinigami form. It can act as a communication device to the Soul Society and can sense hollows in a city-wide range. Ichigo uses it as a focus for his full ring. Protective Charm, a Kido-based charm given to him by Ichigo's father, Ishin. If the owner of this charm is attacked by hostile forces, it acts as a defense by forming a barrier and protecting them. Okayan Clothing After training with the Royal Guard, Ichigo wears special clothing called Okayan Clothing. They possess defensive power, being capable of withstanding the 72 barriers between the Soul Society and the Soul King Palace without suffering any damage to himself. However, they can be destroyed by a big enough blast. And now we reach to the final conclusion of the verdict on who I believe will actually win in the fight between these two characters. So yeah, both Spawn or and Ichigo are basically close on this fight. Mostly because of their abilities and their equipment and their forms as a whole. But when it comes to physical edge of, you know, the age and their weight and the height, I will have to give this to, um, Frigga Spawn for this one. And when it comes to, um, powers and abilities, I will say, hmm, I will say neither of them will have the edge of their powers and abilities and their forms and their equipment I would say forms Inchigo equipment spawn so basically they both are 
close and evenly matched in my opinion. And um, like I said before in the beginning of the video, y'all guys are low blow, low blow, nah, I can't talk, low blow on Ichigo so badly, so hard for no fucking reason, and not even think clearly on who would actually win a fight between these two characters. And there's several things I want to address upon about Spawn that it didn't add in the research that I gathered from the wiki. Spawn major weak he also had two major weakness that he has right now is he only can be killed by any types of nectoplasma or any weapons that is forged in heaven. So yeah that didn't add in the the research that I found so I just want to mention that as well um and also when it comes to uh, I think I mentioned this on Ichigo's weakness that he gets he lose control on when he's in a Vos Delore form so yeah that's basically his weakness that he cannot control that form and another thing that his uh, weakness is that he is afraid not using that power to get you know control him but he actually uh understands and brought you know bring peace between him and his zanpato not zanpato his zangetsu and another thing i want to bring up um some people may confuse um the voice reader actually didn't pronounce um biyakia kuchki name right so i just want to clear that out i forgot to mention that that's literally my fault and um yeah both spawn and ichigo fought a powerful foe like spawn fought uh angels demons vampire cyborg werewolves a rampage deity anti-spawn redeem um yeah the redeemer um angels um spawn hunter um what else even uh other hell spawn even satan and god and here's another feat that uh, they never mentioned in the research as well. Spawn had to use 99% of his power to defeat uh, both Satan and God when the world was about to collapse and end it. So, yeah, I forgot to mention that. I for they forgot to mention that on the wiki as well. And here's an interesting though. Both Spawn and Ichigo use up all of their power to defeat powerful foe. Ichigo used all of his power, which is the final Getsuga, to defeat Aizen, and he lost all of his power. And he still got his... The only way he had was his Fullbringer power. When it comes to Spawn, whenever he lost all of his power, he just go back using his... Um, his skillful of his as an assassin and that's basically how he managed to survive not survive still keep on going help he even killed a mommy with his own guns without using his power so yeah that's another thing uh another feat that i forgot to mention between first for spawn and also they already mentioned about Inchigo as well so I want to mention that as well and um there's one thing I did my research on is Inchigo's Quincy power and also Quincy itself I had to do my research on the Quincy power like does the Quincy powers are also also holy powers as well and I looked it up and in Japanese translate of English says I think it says something about um holy of destruction or something like that. So basically it is a holy power and I do my research again about holy about are holy weapons ashy forged in heaven. So I looked it up and I found some of it that said um it says God's holy weapons so basically means that that means the holy weapon were made in heaven by God himself 
So basically speaking, Injigo does have a uh, power and abilities and a form that could kill, well, kill, um, Spawn. Not only that, uh, since Spawn has an angel form, I think the only way to kill Spawn in his divine form is, I guess, something like a hell power, which is his, Ichigo's, um, hell form, which I will, will call that. And I think that's the only way to kill Spawn in his divine form. So, yeah. So, this fight, this fight between the two will be evenly matched and so close, to be honest. And if I had to say the fight will take place, it would just be the desert area. Not in Waco Mundo or Las Noches or anything like that. Just your typical desert in the actual reality with no environment, no cities or anything like that. I feel the fight will take off. Like, Spawn just mind his own business and Ichigo just mind his own business as well. And his, um, you know, kind of like in when he arrived in uh, Shinigami, not Shinigami, where he actually fully 100% tried to save Rukia and he has that cape around him. Yeah, and that's basically what he will wear. And the fight between them two, yeah. It, it will be go out like Ichigo in his base form and using his big sword and Spawn will use his guns to shoot Ichigo but Ichigo blocks it and uh, when it comes to Ichigo's power Spawn would notice that oh there's someone actually far threat uh, threat that Spawn will have to go all out same goes for Ichigo and um Keep this in mind, Ichigo's power is actually is powerful right next to Spawn. And even though Spawn has so many abilities, same goes for Ichigo. So this fight is evenly close. If I had to say a fight compare for this matchup, I would say mm, mix of of let's just say it's like mix of Spawn against God and Satan, and Ichigo against Ukiora and Aizen in a way. No, no, no. Actually, against Aizen and Yuhaba. So, yeah, that's basically how the fight will kind of be like. Instead of a city being getting destroyed or anything like that. So, the fight will be like similarity between, you know, 2v1 match in their own stories. So... Yeah, they both will be evenly matched in their own way. Like, they both have no edge of their uh, powers and abilities, but they're also close. And the only way Spawn will have think of the strategy if he uses uh, stopping time, so he would think clearly, so he could find out a way to defeat him, defeat Ichigo. Ichigo will actually find a way to exploit Spawn's weakness because he's also intelligent as well. Again, both of them will be evenly matched. So, it will be very, very close fight. And, either way, I can see either one of them winning. And I feel like the only way they will actually end is Spawn goes to his King Hell form and Ichigo goes to his uh, merge uh, Vasto Bankai form or Ichigo use his um, his hell form that all the creatures from hell actually give him that he's deemed worthy or use his Quincy power his Quincy form to take out um, Spawn but I can see either one of the win Spawn yeah he could win highly but yeah, highly, but when it comes to Inchigo, um, let me try to think. His Vasa Lotus, who actually put, might put a lot of fucking damage on Spawn. And, uh, what else? Actually, cause it. Oh, yeah. And none of that, if Inchigo use his final guess potential against Spawn, Inchigo is fucked. He will lose against Spawn. But I feel like he will not use the final guess of Tencho because because he's at the age of 27 he pretty much won't use it so 
basically the only power he would use is Vasilotis and his merge Vasilotis Bankai form and his Quincy power and his hell form against spawn of his his hell spawn form which is the one he is right now his divine form and his king hell form so basically both of them are even the match in their own way and I love these two characters I really do love them and a lot of people are still saying that spawn will win spawn will win and y'all guys are so fucking stupid and dumbass and again this is just my personal opinion and I feel like when it comes to Inchigo he will not kill spawn because keep this in mind Inchigo is merciful he doesn't doesn't care not doesn't care he doesn't want to kill people and none of that he wants to have a fair fight so none of that even spawn will be like what the fuck what is up with this guy he he's sparing me and none of that he wants to have a fair fight okay he seemed respectful i respect that but i don't give a shit i mean i i mean spawn did attack ichigo first so yeah spawn is gonna let this one slide but none of that he did spare him and, it, and I feel like Spawn will actually would spare Inchigo if Spawn wins or Inchigo wins. It depends on whoever actually would win, in my opinion. So, when it comes to them, I feel like both of them will spare each other because they, um, they will not try to kill each other. But I feel like Inchigo will be the first one to start attacking or Spawn in a way. So... Yeah, if I about to say who actually would win, again, he's either one of them in my opinion. But if I had to choose one, I I had to do heads and tails on this. And and again, I love both of these two characters. And some people say I'm completely fucking biased by choosing the character, but I'm not. It's just how the coin flips. And I'm this is just my personal opinion. And again, I can see either one of them would win, but if people are still denial about it, then I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I would just remove you guys' comments about it, but I just don't give a damn about if people say, oh, he will win without even reason behind it, then I would just remove it. But any people have a good reason why each one of these characters will win, that's fine. I actually respect that. I want to hear people's opinions and reason why. Not just saying, oh, this character would win. So, yeah. Again, I am not biased. I could, I can see either one of them will win in my personal opinion. So, yeah. In my personal opinion, I declare Ichigo Kurosake the substitute Soul Reaper. Part Quincy, part Hollow, and part Soul Reaper, and a, I mean, part Shinigami, and part Human. And the main protagonist of the series of Bleach the winner well guys hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your opinions down below tell me what you guys think do you guys agree that Inchiko Kurosaki won this matchup or you guys believe that Spawn should have won this matchup let me know your opinions down below tell me what you guys think like comment share subscribe links to my other channels my social medias will be down below description you guys know drill again like comment share subscribe and I'll see you guys later near before shot of critics and I'll see you guys later